Hello and good day to you. Um, so I'm going to try and do a very quick lesson on uh, data cleaning and how you can do filtering within R so you don't have to get use any of those other products to pre-clean your data. Uh, we're still using the uh, data for uh, Cat from Kaggle, uh, which is movies on stream platforms. Uh, I do have to advise you, please make sure you run the library DPLYR uh, before proceeding. Uh, there is a function within the base distribution of uh, R, which is also called fil filter. And what it, that will do is it's designed to produce uh, it's, pretty, it's designed to do something with time series data and I really doubt you will get what you want from it. So make sure you load DPLYR before proceeding. Uh, the syntax for R is you can assign, if you don't assign it to anything, it will filter the base data. But if you assign to X with the uh, arrow, use the filter function. First value is the data you're looking to filter. Uh, next is uh, assigning the uh, value value that you're looking to uh, filter on. You can you you can you can proceed that with data uh, data and the uh, dollar mark if you want to be very specific or you can just put in the, the you know a straight for straight value. Uh, double equals is used for the boolean operator for equality uh, because a single equals is using for assigning of variables so don't let that catch you out make sure you put in a double equals value uh, it's the same across python everything and c plus plus so once you get used to it you won't look back uh, but as you can see here doing this would uh, produce just the data for Christopher Nolan. You can then assign for Quentin Tarantino, but as you notice, there's an exclamation mark. An exclamation mark will do the opposite of whatever you tell it to. So this will produce not Quentin Tarantino. And as you can see, we've removed Quentin Tarantino from the data and the value X now unfortunately excludes all of Quentin Tarantino's movies. Um, so as of, of Boolean operators, you're using AND and OR to combine different filters. So the below would be directors equals Quentin Tarantino or directors equal Christopher Nolan. If we run that, we will get the data set of those two directors. You can imagine why there's no and directors, Christopher Nolan and Quentin Tarantino, because they're not both directors at once. Um, but when we get down here, you'll see us use the and operator to combine other, other filters. So then you can look into, if I wanted to only look at a movie where it's a IMDB value is greater than eight, this filter would work and as you can see the greater sign is in there uh, that will produce y and if we put in view y caps lock on uh, you'll find that it, it filters on the right data going down you can do a less a greater than or equals by putting an equal sign afterwards uh, you can do uh, less than using the less than sign, less than equals, not equals, which would produce every other value than IMDB other than eight. Uh, as you can imagine, there's eight point ones and stuff. So you can also use, you can also wrap this with, if I spell it correctly, near, and that'll produce. Uh, if it's around eight rather than just equals eight, uh, you can do a, a direct assignment again, the uh, double equals. And then moving on, assuming that I wanted to look at great, good movies gr greater than or equal to IMDb of eight, and 
black and white. I like black and white movies, so it needs to be made before 1980. Don't don't know if they, I don't I don't think I don't think they <laughs> I do think they made color movies in. Uh, <laughs> I do think they made colour and movies in the 1979, but um, as you can see, Life of Brian. So uh, forget what I said about colour. Uh, you know, don't, I, I like black and white movies. Uh, but then, if you want to change it round and look at uh, ones greater than, you don't just you can you can actually just add in exclamation mark to do a not value. So this would do the opposite and you'd get uh, wait for it you get everything that's greater than 1980 uh, you can do uh, you can do a function to do ors so this will produce imdb of greater than or equals eight and less than four because I really like really good movies, but I also like really bad movies. And again, you can double up on your and or operands. And if you know anything about C++, these um, usually in languages you can get ors or ands, uh, as in sometimes you can you know VBA uses if x equals eight or and lets you actually type out or or and uh, this this uh, way that R uses these what they call bitwise operators is quite standard for C++ so it might look like it, they're, they're a bit hard to remember at first, but once you get used to it, it uh, gets used elsewhere in other languages. So that seems really simple, but it does mean that you can do all your data cleaning within R. It does mean that you can load a base variable of your data, strip out other values you don't want to look at for other values and, and get them assigned to a different variable. When you then run through and do your analysis, making graphs and light, you can use these data clean values that you, you've made. And what I would suggest to do is just just bring in all your data at the first place, keep keep it in one separate variable, and just split off, you know, holding variables for you to do your various functions and work with. Um, there is something to note that uh, this filter within DPLYR does remove all NAs and nulls. So, if a if a if a if, say where if the if if the director doesn't exist and you put equal equals Christopher Nolan, it will remove also remove anywhere where uh, there is no director, uh, if that makes sense. So. I hope that lets you do a bit more data cleaning within R. Hopefully you can now see the appeal that you don't have to go back to things like Excel or bother your uh, your data engineer to make sure you've got clean data. You can do the cleaning within R. Um, hopefully in a few, of a few videos time, I'll do select statements and the other type so you can get even more data cleaning out of this. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.